Hey golfers, uh, welcome back. We have another tutorial here on how to add a golf course using um, FrenchGolfers.com. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move over to the actual website and I'm going to pull up some extra information that we're going to need, which is a golf course scorecard. So uh, basically, if you uh, logged in, you have to be an admin and if you are an admin, you will see your admin links at the top up here, uh, one of them being Manage Golf Courses. So you can go ahead and click on that. Now what you'll see are all the golf courses that are already loaded into FringeGolfers.com. Now we are playing, let's say, we're playing a course that's not on the list here, so we want to actually add it. So we come over here to this button and we'll say Add New Course. So the course that I want to add is actually uh, Pebble Beach Golf Links. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill in my information here, Pebble Beach. And then uh, address, I actually have Pebble Beach's uh, website up. So I'm going to go ahead and look at that real quick. Their address is 17 Mile Drive. So I'll go ahead and throw that in there. City is Pebble Beach. State is California. And let me grab the zip code 93953. 93953. Okay. Uh, phone number 800. Let me see if I can copy this information in. Excellent. And a URL. Now, a lot of this information may is not necessary. I'm doing it just to keep it uh, complete. But I don't believe we actually have to add URL and phone number. So, in our example, and on every golf course actually, they have multiple T's. So, uh, Pebble Beach, as you can see on the left side of the screen over here, has blue, gold, white, and red amongst. They also have a US Open tee and a Juniors tee. But in this case, we're just going to answer the ones that we see on our, on our golf card here. So I'm going to go ahead and put in blue. Now, when you're entering a golf course into Fringe Golfers, you actually have to enter each tee individually. Um, if you do it once, if you just enter in one tee, you will see that golf course show up, but the only tee available will be the T that you have entered. So in this case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and enter the blue T. Now course rating, you can find this information usually on the scorecard. In this example, it's actually right here underneath uh, the word blue. So they rated at 73.8. I'm going to go ahead and enter that. Uh, slope rating is usually very close to the course rating. Also right over here, they rated at 142. So we're going to go ahead and enter that. Now uh, we're just going to enter each hole individually. So first hole, 367, 484, 374, 327, 187, 500, 106, 416, and 462. Good check is to make sure that the number that shows up here gray matches the number that they have on their scorecard, 3232. So we are looking real good there. The handicap, usually found on your scorecard. So handicap for the first hole, 8, then 10, then 12, then 16, then 14, then 2, then 18, then 6, and then 4. And then the all-important par values. So we're going to go ahead, 4, 5, 4, 4, 3, 5, 3, 4, and 4. So there we go. Front 9, par 36, 32, 32. We're looking good. We'll go click on the back 9 now. And I'm going to come over here and scooch down to the back 9. Same process. 
Just go ahead, put the information in, 430, 373, 201, 393, 572, 396, 401, and 178, and 543. Okay, 3487, 3487, we're looking good. Handicap, 7, 5, 17, 9, 1, 13, 11, 15, 3, and our pars. 4, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 4, 3, and 5. And pars 36, front was 36, so we're looking good. Once we have all information for our T that we selected, in this case the blue T, we'll hit save. Data has saved, saved successfully. So now, if you actually scroll on the list here, you should see Pebble Beach, and there it is. So now, as I was telling you earlier, uh, we only have blue T's available. See in this column here, T's defined. So, if we were uh, feeling good about, uh, you know, adding in other T's, we have a little option here just to add a T. Uh, if you notice that somebody has made a mistake, you can also edit the T's. So maybe somebody was, you know, going a little fast and they mistyped, uh, they put the wrong par in or something like that. We ask you to please edit that if you find that there's an error. Uh, you can always come back later, like I said, with the URL or stuff like that, and edit the course info. So if you click on that little icon there, that'll bring you back to the, uh, the page with the URL, the phone number, the address, and all that kind of stuff. So if you don't know that stuff immediately, you can come back and get that information. And that is basically how we uh, add a golf course to FringeGolfers.com. Thank you for listening.